133 billion pounds of food is thrown away every year in the United States. This is about 30 to 40 percent of the total food produced. So about one third. That's equivalent to about 39 million Priuses just tossed into a landfill right off of the production line. Now I've been trying to be more mindful about my grocery purchases and trying to figure out cheaper ways to feed myself on a daily basis. So the other day while scrolling Facebook, because I'm a boomer in the body of a 26 year old, I came across an ad for an app that's trying to solve just that very problem. Two good to go partners with restaurants, grocery stores, bakeries, coffee shops, and more that may have unsold food at the end of the day. This product is then bagged up and sold on the app for customers to purchase through what they call surprise bags. Now this idea really intrigued me, especially because the bags were only $5, so I went through the app to see what I could find. So as you can see on the app, you can kind of scroll through some of the locations that are available in your area to pick up a bag from. Nearby me, we have Panera, California Fish, grill. What I kind of noted was there's really not many locations in the area that I live in that are available. Like I live in Santa Clarita, there's only like roughly 300,000 people, but we do have a ton of restaurants, so it seems like they're probably just still onboarding different places. Like, I changed the location up here to Los Angeles before, and, you know, it kind of showed that there was a bunch more places available. But, like, super early this morning, I went on, I placed an order for a surprise bag at Coffee Bean, and it kind of just shows me what location I'm picking up from, what time I can pick up from. So, yeah, in about 55 minutes, we'll go ahead, we'll go to the location, and we'll pick up the bag and see what we got. So I've placed an order for coffee bean that I can pick up between 6 and 7 p.m. Which I'd like to note is kind of interesting because that location does close at 9 p.m. So if I can pick up the bag three hours before it close, I don't really understand how that's unsold food at the end of the day. Because within that three hours, it feels like that product could be sold. But I guess we'll just have to go pick up the bag and see what we get. All right, so bag is secured right here. Normal size bag, obviously I spent $5. It's supposed to be the unsold food from the end of the day. This is what I got, kind of light. Let's go home and open it up, see what we got. All right, the bag is here. Gonna open it for the first time. And what did we get? A butter croissant or just a croissant? Kind of good size, okay. A another croissant of some sort, maybe chocolate or ham and cheese. I don't know. I don't see any chocolate. And then an egg and cheese burrito. So we got a burrito and we got two croissants. I'll have to look up prices on that and see. I mean, I think five bucks, a burrito and two croissants. Shit's expensive. So I feel like we definitely got a good deal, but also didn't really feel like unsold food at the end of the day. Kind of feels like they just grab a few items and throw it in a bag and it's kind of just like a marketing ploy to get you to come in and buy something. You know, it kind of doesn't really seem like they're following the mission of like, ooh, we're saving our unsold food and preventing it from going to waste. I've worked in fast food many times. Like I worked at Starbucks at the end of the night, you know, there was like the whole, oh, we donate some of this food, but majority of the time, the food just gets thrown away and you're throwing away like pounds and pounds of food. It's just going to waste. So like, I can totally understand how cool it would be if places just bagged up all of their unsold food and like gave it away or sold it. But to me, this just felt like they were grabbing a few items. Like there was still a whole bunch of food in there. Cause you know, they still had like three hours until they closed, you know, even if it was later in the night, I'm sure they'll still have a ton of food left over. I'm sure stuff will still end up in the trash. So like, is that really giving out your unsold food? Doesn't really seem like it. I just realized this whole time I've been talking with the air conditioning on, so hopefully it was somewhat usable. <laughs> okay, so I just went onto the Coffee Bean website, started placing an online order so I could get the pricing. The butter croissant I got retails for $3.45. The chocolate croissant, which is what it was, I looked up the photo, that goes for $3.65. And then the chorizo breakfast burrito was $6.50. So I paid a total of $5 and I got $14 and 19 cents of food and on the app it did say like $15 and it was crossed out and then it said $4.99 so it's like I'm guessing that they estimate that the value is about $15 but then that just means that this is all planned then it's not the unsold food 
This is just a way for them to sell a little bit of extra food at a cheaper price. Like it literally does just feel like a marketing thing and there's already a value attached to the stuff that they're giving out. And I honestly wouldn't even be surprised if they were like told what to put in the surprise bags. I don't know, it just seems kind of interesting. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down below. If you've used this app, what you think of it, what you've gotten. Let me know if you think that it is actually just like a rig system, like they've already planned what's going on in there, or if it's just a marketing scheme or whatever, or if you truly do think that this is actually a way to save food from being wasted. Cause to me right now, it doesn't really feel that way. Maybe I'll look at some of the other places I can order from and place orders to kind of see what it's like. But as of right now, that's kind of how I'm feeling, so. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> it's been a long time since I vlogged. I actually got a new camera. I now have a Sony ZV-1. Bringing the GH4 around, I used to do that all throughout college and stuff like that. And just at this point in my life, it kind of seems like a hassle to bring that camera around. So having a smaller camera that's easier to carry and shoot with, I'll probably just enjoy it way more. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought down below. Let me know how you enjoyed my first video back in like forever. I've just been so freaking busy. I'll have to get into all of this in another video, but but life has just been wild. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. See ya.